pretty good. What is going on guys? My name is Ari and welcome back to another video. In this one, you read the title, you saw the thumbnail. I'm going to be showing you a little special trick that I implement into all of my stores, all two of them, that is going to absolutely 100% increase your conversion rate. Okay, that's a bold claim, but uh, for me personally, it has become one of the most crucial things that um, you know, if I had a checklist for a fresh new store, which, you know, let me know in the comments if you think that'd be a good idea. I'd obviously give it to you for free. I wouldn't charge you for it. But I would put this in there because I love this little thing. It's just like a countdown timer. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it because it does require a little bit of code. And I know you're thinking, oh, no, I don't want to... I don't want to get technical. I don't want to go into the code, but it's super easy. I'll walk you through it. I'll hold your hand through the whole thing. So don't even worry about it. Before I hop into my computer here, I just wanted to say a special thank you to every single one of you who have been following me, even especially those of you who have been following me from the beginning. The channel's been growing super fast. I love it though. I just, you guys are giving me amazing feedback. You're getting a bunch of information. Uh, a lot of value you're actually going out there and putting it to good use i love that that's probably the best thing you can do because that's what i make the videos for obviously just thanks again guys i really appreciate the support and you guys are amazing keep killing it i'll keep making the videos i promise well and you know make sure you're subscribed if you haven't you know channel's still growing you definitely want to be a part of this right now and yeah i'll hop into my computer stop babbling and i'll show you exactly how to use this trick all right guys we're in the computer here and this store right here, actually, I made it, well, I made it like a week ago, uh, but it's it's not a real, I mean, it is a real store. Uh, this is it. And you know what? I feel super dumb because I feel like I should have, I worked on it, like, I actually made it, I don't know, I was just really into making this store for some reason. I was just, like, super into it, so uh, it was fun. And then, like, I just made it super, super nice, like, how I would actually make a real store. And then I realized that I didn't record it, like an idiot, but, so I'll probably have to remake it. So I can show you guys what I would do, but this is the a new store I made. It's called Trend Cove, and you know it's only got one product, and this is the only product that it sells right now. Uh, it's the high quality portable pocket fishing pole, and you know look at I went pretty pretty hard on the description here. Um, put some benefits right here. So for, I mean this isn't the hack, but this is really does increase conversions, and uh, you know put that in there. Um, put some more bullet points down here, a little more explaining right here, and then just some a little installation guide, um, and then scarcity, because I haven't been using Hurify for scarcity. I kind of just mentioned it in the uh, in my description, and it's been working really well. And then I also added the frequently bought together app with one other product. So there's only two products in the store. In the store, and I I don't know why. I just think you know if you're buying a portable um, a fishing pole, you might be interested in like a portable charger power bank and it's solar powered so like outdoors people would like it blah blah, blah. i mean I've, you've seen this product multiple times i'm sure but yeah it's just a little upsell uh, at the bottom of this and i do want to test this okay i do want to test this i'll probably make a video of me testing it so also let me know if you'd be interested in that and here is where i downloaded looks reviews so got some nice product reviews uh so i think this could be a good product to sell i'll try i'll probably test it out like i said and then uh, make a video about it but Anyways, these are kind of the apps that I downloaded that I think are crucial. All your reviews sucks. I'm just going to delete it. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. It doesn't suck. It doesn't suck, but um, I just don't like it. It looks is just so much better. It's just infinitely better. So it is expensive, though. It's 25 bucks a month. But like I said, these are apps that I find crucial to your store, okay? So in total, this is the $29 plan. So maybe 29 plus like 7 so 36 and then plus 25 um which is like 62 and then okay i gotta turn this off <laughs> uh and then quantity breaks which is another like 16 a month uh i'm pretty sure so that's like pretty much like 80 dollars almost and i know that's a lot but i think this is like the best apps to have on your store okay but that's not even the point of this video i'm sorry i gotta get started with the video um anyways so there's the store, I showed you the store, it looks really nice, but here is what I want. I want to add a countdown timer in the checkout so that says, you know, like, use this coupon um, in order to get 10% off in your for, or on your purchase or something and with a little countdown timer uh, in the checkout though. So not in your product description, in the checkout. So this is how we're going to do it. You actually have to go to preferences here. Uh, and I'm sure you've seen this countdown timer before or like in a different video from someone else. But I figured a lot of you guys probably don't know about this. So I'll just show you exactly how to do it. 
Um, and you actually need a Google Analytics account. I don't have one for this, so I'll actually make one right now and show you what you need to do. Um, but essentially, you, I was kind of looking it up because I could, like I already, I, I've had a Google Analytics account for so long that I just kind of forgot how to make one. So I just went Google Analytics account on Google, click the first one, sign in, click Analytics, and then um, right here we go sign up. And then we do website, we're going to do account name, Trend Cove, website name, Trend Cove, URL, it's, this is the URL, trendcove.myshopify.com, so I'll add that as the website URL, because that's the website URL, industry category, let's just go with hobbies and leisure, why not, okay, um, United States, Central Time, because I live in Minnesota, and then recommended, sure, sure, yeah, okay, fine, so that's all good, uh, we'll get the tracking ID now, so we gotta accept, what the, why is this all the way down there, <laughs> okay, so we have to accept this, and then, um, boom, we did it. Okay, so now we made the Google Analytics account, and I know this all looks like gibberish to you, and to be quite honest, it looks like a little bit of gibberish to me too, but I know exactly what I'm looking for in here. I'm looking for this, the uh, tracking ID. This is pretty much like your Facebook pixel, but for Google Analytics, and guys, I'm not a big Google Analytics, or I mean a Google Ads guy. You know, I've only ran maybe like five campaigns on Google AdWords pretty unsuccessfully so I'm definitely not the guy to get advice uh, from in terms of Google AdWords and whatnot but I do know a little bit I mean I'm pretty tech savvy at this point since I just spent so much time on my computer but um, so Google Analytics right here you're gonna paste that code and then we're gonna do save and then once we do that it should pop this up okay so I put in this code as soon as I made the you know this is what it prompts you to when you make your Google Analytics account and then that code, you're actually just going to put it right here, this code, right here, all right? <laughs> and then we're actually going to do, we're going to do use enhanced e-commerce. I believe that just makes it so that like, let me just read it real quick because I, I don't even remember what it does, but I have it on my other store. Um, enhanced e-commerce, we want additional information about visitor behavior. Yeah, of course we want additional information about visitor behavior. Why wouldn't you want that, especially if it's free? So that is free. We're going to keep it. Uh, we're going to get rid of this, this, um, and we'll just keep that open for now. But here is how you do this. Okay, I know that I've been kind of dragging this on. Hopefully, you're still watching and paying attention because this is very important. But so right here, we got this, and then you click Add Custom JavaScript. See right here? Okay, there's, it prompts you to this little box. Um, and here's where you're going to... Okay, so I have this, PD, uh, this Word document in the description. You can go and download it for free. Don't worry, it's not like paid or anything. So you can download it for free, and this is what and this is what it is. Just like this, uh, you're gonna copy and paste this whole thing. Okay, don't worry about it. You don't even read it. Okay, just don't even worry about it. Just copy and paste it. Uh, I know like people get scared of messing with code, and I totally understand. I'm not very good with code at all, so uh, we can I can relate to that. Okay, but we copied that. You went and downloaded the file. You copied it just like I did. And then you're just going to paste it right there. Pasted. Okay. And look at what this is going to do. So now that this is pasted, let's just refresh the page. Um, and by the way, this is the Privy app right here that says Spin to Win. It looks kind of I put my own picture in the background and I, I kind of, <laughs> no pun intended, but I, I put my own little spin to this. Okay. I Instead of saying, you know, get a big discount, I said, spin this wheel to be entered in for a chance to win one free product of your choice. And then I'll say, you'll get a big discount if you sign up. And yes, it's free. Because people love free stuff. So, uh, you know, that's just like an in more of an incentive for them to put in their email without really being too spammy. Saying like, you know, give me your email, give me your email. You know, it's like, you're kind of giving them a lot for giving you the email. And yeah, you, you know, I'm not mentioning anything about a newsletter and stuff. But after a while, I'm going to retar I mean, uh, keep reaching out to these people through email. I probably will do a giveaway. Um, I do kind of want to make the store into something bigger. I mean, I already made the store, so it's like, why not, you know? And then I could actually just showcase everything I'm doing with it to you guys, which would be really beneficial. Uh, well, for myself, obviously, I'd make money off of it and for educational purposes. So, anyways, 
Um, this is what it's going to do. So we're going to go to add to cart. Well, let's click full details again just so you can kind of see again um, how I set up my descriptions. You can go and visit this page on your own time if you want to get some inspiration in terms of how I set up my descriptions because that's a big part of conversions. Um, and then I made the add to cart button a red because it was black before and I like red and, and green add to cart buttons. So let's just add it to cart. Um, okay, let's remove this one. Okay, perfect. 19.99. So then we'll go to checkout. Okay, cool. So look at this is what it does. It's pretty cool. It you know pops up this little like countdown timer with a discount code in the checkout, guys. So this is awesome because it increases your conversions. It gives the customer that little extra push they need to just pull the trigger on the purchase. Okay. Um, so if they reach checkout, they're pretty likely to buy, but it's not a certain thing. You know, it's still pretty much like a 75% chance that they'll just leave still. Um, once they, you know, reach the shipping method, which I always charge free shipping. Um, that's just kind of my thing. I mean, I'll probably test both, but free shipping just works. It's a great thing to, to put in your product description in your ad copy all that uh, it works really well for you know marketing in general so anyways this is what it does it puts in these little cool um what, what are you you know uh, checkout badges and then you have this awesome discount and then here's what we're gonna do though I'm gonna change this from 10% off because that is a little too much I mean I do have this on my store that's doing uh, well let me even just see I don't even remember but so far this month Oh my goodness. Yeah, 81,000. Uh, okay, well, I don't know. Yeah, 81,000 uh, this month so far. This store, I have this on here. And you know what? I have it as save five. So I only do 5% off because a lot of people use this. And I don't want to lose on out, lose out on too much money, you know? Uh, but I do want to increase my conversion. So um, I'll still do it. But this is what we're going to do. So how you change this. I know you're thinking, oh, man, well, how am I going to change that? It's really easy. So we go to this page where we actually pasted the code, remember? And then we're going to do control F. I don't know what it is on Mac. I'm sorry. I've, I'm not very Mac savvy. And... Um, right here, we're just going to type save 10. Boom. And it prompts us to this. So if you change anything in here, you, this is how you change the, the, the countdown. Or I mean, any text in the countdown right here. So instead of save 10, we're going to do save 5. And, save, and then right here where it says minutes and save an extra 5% on your order. Use the discount. Okay, so... I'll say, ah, yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay, so we'll save that, and then we'll go and take a look at how it looks now. And it'll say, use the discount code, save five in the next seven minutes, and save an extra 5% on your order. Perfect. So then this is what we're going to do now. This is the last step. You go to discounts in your Shopify dashboard, and then you go right here, and you click create a discount, and then you type save five. And then percentage discount. 5% save and now you're good to go okay and then once you make the coupon you're pretty much good to go now it should just you know work you'll you'll have to let, let me just see here perfect so now yeah it's still it pops up perfectly your customer will be able to just check out with I mean they'll probably use the coupon that's the thing you know they'll if they see oh wait I can get an extra like dollar off for free well why not you know especially if I'm already getting free shipping that's kind of what the customer is going through in their mind um, and honestly it works super well guys like you have to give this a try I showed you exactly how you can set it up so there's no excuse for you to not do this um, just try it out you have nothing to lose okay so give it a try Make sure it works though before you actually, you know, make sure you're checking the checkout to see that it actually appears correctly because that's one of the things that, you you know, you don't want to just put it in there and blindly start testing without knowing that it works perfectly. But yeah, so I mean, that's my store. Like I said, guys, make sure you check out the store if you want to get an idea of kind of how I set up stores. Like this is just what I do. Like I said, shipping and delivery, FAQ, those are kind of crucial things in my opinion because you really need to have it. Like people, if you, if people see that they're going to feel so much safer just shopping in your store. Uh, but that's for a totally different video, guys. This one was about the checkout timer. Hopefully you think that's cool. Hopefully you implement it in your stores. Um, I know it's, 
this has been done by many other people. I mean, I didn't make this up by any means. But anyways, uh, if you want to install this code, make sure you click the link in the description to download the Word document to actually get the code. Um, and then you just copy and paste it like I showed you into that Google Analytics little bar after making a Google Analytics account, which I also showed you how to do. And you should be good to go. So guys, if you enjoy this value, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you're turning on those notifications so you're aware of when I post a new video because you already know every video is going to be crazy value. Every video is going to be something you can implement into your stores that will completely help, that will definitely help you out. So make sure you're doing that. And that's all I got for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you tune in for tomorrow's video. Peace out.